Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Galatians chapter 3, verse 15. Book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 15 to 29. Book of Galatians 3. Brothers, let me take an example from everyday life, just as no one can set aside or um, added to a human covenant that has been duly uh, established. So it is in this case. The promise was spoke to Abraham and to his seed. The scripture does not say, and to the seed, meaning many people, but and to your seed meaning one person who is Christ. What I mean is this, the law introduced 430 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by God and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on the promise, but God in his grace give it to Abraham through a promise. What then was the purpose of the law? It was added uh, because of the transgressions until the seed to whom the promise uh, referred had to uh, come. The law was put into effect through the angels uh, by Mediator. A mediator, however, uh, does not represent <laughs> just one party, but God is one. Is the law therefore opposed to a uh, promise of God? Absolutely not. For if a law had been given that uh, could import the life of righteousness, would uh, certainly have come by the law. But the scripture declared that the whole world is a prisoner of a sin, so that what was promised, uh, being given through faith in Jesus Christ, might be given to those who believe. Before this faith came, we are held prisoners by the law, locked up until the faith should be relieved, relieved, uh, sorry, revealed. So the law was put in a charge to lead us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Now that faith has come, we are no longer under the uh, supervision of the law. This morning, I would like to share with you, according to the description, Abraham become righteous by promise. What is the promise? Actually, do you know who received the law, which is a Ten Commandment? Moses. Do you know Moses? He received um, he received um, um, Ten Commandment on the mountain of Sinai. Well, Abraham, Abraham, you know, you know, he received a promise before the law of Moses. Abraham become righteous which is, uh, do you know, 430 years later, God spoke to Moses, this Ten Commandment. But Abraham, he received a promise. What is a promise? Because Abraham believed in God and he became uh, righteous, which means, yeah, do you know, by faith you become righteous, not by the exam of the law. Yesterday morning, uh, I think last night we ex uh, explained about uh, how you how you receive the Holy Spirit. Examine the law, no, no. Observing the law, no. You receive the Holy Spirit by believing what you heard, which means by faith you receive the Holy Spirit. And today, according to uh, the scripture, you know they Paul speak about the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at verse 16, the promises, promises were spoke to Abraham and to his seed. The scripture does not say and to seed, meaning many people, but and to your seed. No, plural, only singular. Only S-E-E-T, seed, meaning one person 
who is Christ. Did you understand? God want to bless Abraham, and then God want to、uh, share about the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, do you know? God want to God want to do something for you and me by covenant. Yeah, covenant is more stronger than promise. And then you know. Verse twenty one says, "The Lord therefore opposed the promise of God absolutely not." Did you understand? You see, promise first between God and Abraham. Law is second, four hundred years later between God and Moses. Do you understand? Do you think it is a, the law of God against the promise? Not at all. Law of God. Actually, Paul explained about the law. Do you know? Verse twenty-four. So the law, yeah, law was put in charge to lead us to Christ. You see, the law lead us to Christ. We might be justified by faith. You see. Did you understand? The law. This is a promise between God and Abraham. The law between God and Moses. Do you, do you think the law is、uh, the the damage your life? No. Without the law, we never know how much you are a terrible sinner. Do you understand? Therefore, Paul said the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. It is impossible we become uh, 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 righteous or justified by our observing the law. No. You can keep the ninety-nine law of Moses, yeah, law of God, yeah. But you, you break the one wall, one law, you are terrible sinner. You see, therefore, what God, what the Bible say, yeah, verse twenty-two, Galatians three. But the Scripture declare that the whole world, yeah, is a prisoner of sin. You and me, we are prisoner of sin. Do you understand? This is what the Bible said. The Scripture already condemned. Scripture already declared whole world is a prison of sin. So that what was promised, being given through faith in Jesus Christ, might be given to those who believe. Do you understand? You can see the promise and law of God and. What law of God leads us to Christ, and by faith we become、uh, righteous. Yeah, by faith we might be justified by faith. Therefore, now faith has come. We are no longer under the supervision of the law. Do, do, do you understand? We don't need to live under the condemnation. We don't need to live under the、uh, darkness anymore. That is why Paul say in the book of Romans,、uh, um, chapter seven. Do you know Paul is speak about the law? Romans chapter seven, he is saying. Do you know, verse sixteen saying, "If I do what I what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good." You see, he wanted to do good. Yeah, but he don't do it. He agreed that the law is good. Yeah, and it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. In me, you see, he wanted to do good, but he don't do it. Why? Because sin, which is a sinful nature, live inside of him. That is why when you wake up, Paul say, "I die daily." Yeah. Verse eighteen. I know that nothing good lives in me. Can you mean nothing good lives in me? That is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. You see, he has got desire to do good, but he it is impossible. <coughs> And then he say, for what I do is not the good I want、uh, to do. No. The evil, <coughs> sorry, the evil. I do not want to do this. I keep on doing. Can you make keep on doing? Keep on sinning. 
It's terrible. He said, now, if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it's a sin living in me that does it. Sinful nature living inside of him. He committed the sins again and again. And he said, so if I find this law at work, when I want to do good, evil is right there with me. You see? For in my inner being, I delight in the God's law, you see. Inside of him, in, in his heart, he, he likes the law of God. He delights the law of God. But I see another law at work in members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin and work within my members. You see, he recognized that. He's a prisoner of law of sin. Actually, the scripture already declared the whole world is a prisoner of sin. What the wretched man I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, law is good to lead you yeah, to Jesus. Is, is, law is actually law is holy, and uh, commandment is holy, righteous and good. The law is good. Do, do you understand? Yeah. Therefore, Paul he already spoke about the law. Law is good, but you have to have the faith. Faith. And look, verse twenty six, uh, Galatians three. But we are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. You are the child of God. You are sons and daughters of God through faith in Jesus Christ. How can I become a Abraham's seed? How can I become a child of God? Through faith in Christ Jesus. Not observing the law? No. You know, through observing the law, I never become a child of God. I always remain as a Gentile, as a prisoner of sin. But for all of you who are baptized into Christ, have clothed yourself with Christ. It's now wonderful news. Yeah? Yeah? You have the cloth, cloth yourself with Christ. Special cloth. Yeah? Those who are baptized into Christ, you know, the disciples, oh, no, no, Jewish people, they crossed the uh, two kinds of uh, the water. Number one, they crossed the Red Sea. And second one, they crossed the Jordan River. And uh, we called uh, this uh, baptism of sins. They washed the cleansed by baptism. But actually, not baptism of water, baptism of Jesus. Those who, yeah, those who, um, the who, who, who are uh, the you know, baptized into the water, and they become a child of God, baptized of the Holy Spirit. You are the child of God, yeah. And verse um, twenty-eight: There is neither Jew or Greek, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Doesn't matter where you came from. Matter is. Do you believe in Jesus? And you have faith in Christ Jesus. We are one in Christ Jesus. We are the children of God. If you belong to Christ, yes, I belong to Christ. I know. Pastor Julia, you belong to Christ. When you belong to Christ Jesus, then you are Abraham's seed and the heirs according to the promise. Do you understand? Not according to the law, according to the promise. You see, the promise, as I told you earlier, between God and Abraham. The law between God and Moses. But how can you overcome the, this law of God? How can you keep the law of God? By faith. Faith in Jesus. Faith in Jesus. You become a Abraham's seed. Faith in Jesus. Yeah, And you can have an heir according to the promise. God promised with Abraham. All nations shall be blessed. There's a promise. Do you understand? Thanks be to God. He has got a, a promise with you. You are my child. You are my beloved child. 
Thank you for watching. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. We are a child of God. And then, Father, oh, thank you for your promise between you and uh, Abraham. And also, I thank you. You send your law uh, between you and Moses. But, Lord, how can you get uh, uh, this promise? You promise with Abraham. We become Abraham's seed, and you can receive the Abraham's blessing, Abraham's covenant, Abraham's promise to the faith in Christ Jesus. Oh, God, we belong to Jesus because we have a faith in Christ Jesus. doesn't matter we are Jews or Gentile or free or slave, small or big, or it doesn't matter. We are one in Christ Jesus through faith. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Please keep on praying for Pastor Frank. And uh, he's still in uh, intensive care unit. And, and I believe that God can do something. My, my prophesied point, you will come out from hospital before Christmas. We're going to have a Christmas lunch together uh, on 25th of December. I pray. And keep on praying together. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.